Well, I actually posted a picture on Reddit and I'm actually surprised on how well it did. The things that I do for my setup has a 50-50 chance of getting liked by others. Well, of course, this is because of personal preference. You wanna know why you clicked on this video? Because you are intrigued. You wanna know how I modified my keyboard. Half of you guys watching this video won't be even doing it, but those of you are actually gonna do it. I got some massive respects for you out there. Also, you might be wondering, are there any risks of doing it? Funny you asked. No, there aren't any. What even could go wrong? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And now, that being said, and out of the way, welcome to my 2020 Ultima setup, where I'll be showing you how you can turn your Black Widow Chroma V2 into a White Widow Chroma V2. First of all, we're going to be starting our work with the wrist rest. I have the Black Widow Chroma V2. You might not have the Black Widow Chroma V2, but if you have to spray paint something, you have to first disassemble it or else you're not going to get this sort of clean look. To disassemble something, you need tools. You need a Phillips and a flat to do everything on today's video. But if you Google how to disassemble the wrist rest of any Razer keyboard, you are not going to find it. Not even on Google, not even on Reddit, nowhere. That's why you came into the right place. Your boy Yazzy you discovered how to disassemble the wrist rest. First of all, like I said, get yourself your tools and then turn over your wrist rest. There's going to be six pads that is gonna be underneath your wrist rest now take off the pads and put them in a place that you will be able to reuse them because you're gonna be needing it or else it's gonna be sliding all over the place and after that you will be able to see three different screws on the top part like I said get yourself your screwdriver and unscrew the top three screws that is located on the top and once that is done you will be able to separate the cushion from the plastic hold up this part gets tricky so what you have to do is make sure to like this video right now and also if you still haven't subscribed it is the right time to do so and no nothing gets tricky and now we can move on to what we are doing now what you will have to do is hold the plastic with one hand and try prying off the cushion towards you and as soon as you do it you will hear a nice little click so slowly start pulling it towards you and it should pop out of the case and that is how easy it is to separate the cushion from the plastic if you want to get a rough finish you have to sand the whole thing down with a rough sandpaper i used a rough sandpaper to sand it down properly first time and when i sanded the whole thing down i used a lighter grid to give it a smooth finish because i wanted a smooth finish after this is painted i cannot show you the sanding process because i didn't record while i was doing it but i was recording when i sanded my stream deck so here you go you can see on screen it takes a while to get everything sanded down it is worth it do not skip the sanding part or else your paint will peel off you don't want to get your paint peeling off right so make sure to get yourself some time and make sure to sand properly i'm saying this multiple times make sure to sand properly before you paint or else you're not gonna get a good result and now after sanding the wrist rest will be done and ready for spray painting so leave it out of the way make sure not to lose the three screws and the rubber pads because you're gonna need it after you're done spray painting. Now, we got something better to do, which is disassembling the keyboard, which is the fun part. A lot of people are gonna get scared to disassemble the keyboard, but it is actually one of the easiest thing to do. Do you really wanna disassemble it? Of course you do, you're gonna spray paint it, right? Don't get scared, I'm here to help you. Just follow my steps and you should be golden. All right, you definitely know what to do, right? You have to turn over your keyboard. Ah, you figured. And as soon as you turn over your keyboard, you're gonna see four different rubber feet. So you know the drill, take off the four rubber feet and it will reveal four screws. And there is gonna be two pop socket type thingy on top. Just get yourself the flat screwdriver and pry it off. And it's gonna reveal two more screws. And now you'll be left over with six screws. Now get yourself your screwdriver and unscrew all the six screws and put the screws and pads in a place that you'll be able to find it next time after spray painting. Do not try prying off the keyboard without taking off the screws it is gonna break your case you don't want that right i experimented on my keyboard just so you don't fuck it up for yourself the fun starts now screws are out of the case now we should be able to pry off the front panel or the case whatever you say out of the keyboard you have to locate the edges where it separates the keyboard from the case so remember the flat screwdriver i told you about we're gonna be needing that flat screwdriver to pry off the case 
from the keyboard pry off in between the case and the keyboard and as soon as you do that you will hear a nice little click as soon as you hear that you will know that you are good just move your way down slowly and do the same thing on the left side and as soon as it is done you will see that the case is almost out of the keyboard you just need to separate the bottom part of the case from the keyboard so just slowly pry off the bottom part from the keyboard and it should pop out of place I know you're smiling now, you have done it. Now just flip over the keyboard and separate the front panel from the keyboard. And you're actually gonna be surprised on how much dust buildup there is on the keyboard. Do you really need to clean your keyboard? Of course you do need to clean your keyboard because you don't regularly disassemble your keyboard, right? So just give it a nice little wipe and we should be good. And now we can move on to the next bit of our work. So now what you're gonna have to do is separate the Razer logo from the case of the keyboard. So just put a little bit of pressure on the left side of the logo and it should pop right off. And now there's another problem. There's the caps lock number lock thingy on the top right of your case. You have to take that apart because you don't want to spray paint on top of it, right? Don't worry about it. It's just a sticker. Just use your screwdriver and pry it off and it should be good. And you know the drill. Scrape for how long you want. Just make sure to give it a good scrape. Make sure you scrape it off for a decent amount of time so that it is rough and you can smooth it out after you're done rough sanding it and it should be ready for painting. Now is the fun part. You can spray paint your keyboard whatever color you want whatever your heart desires I don't give a shit I'm not gonna be able to show it because I have already done spray painting my keyboard I'm not gonna be doing it for the second time of course right also make sure to give it two coats of paint at least three is enough but more than three is not necessary and after you're done spray painting make sure to keep it in a safe place where you'll be able to leave it for seven or eight hours because it does take a lot of time to dry it off it's better to be safe than sorry just leave it for seven or eight hours if you see any uneven spots on your paint job just use a towel and just lightly give it a rub and it should fix itself you're not gonna be facing any sort of problems during assembling it but you're gonna be facing one little problem which is gonna be the cable is gonna be out of place there's gonna be this bracket on top of the case use your finger and push the cables head on there hold the cable there and start putting back your front case of your keyboard from the top and make your way down give it a little tap on the left and give it a little tap on the right and you will hear another click make your way from top to bottom and then from left to right and it should all click into place and now when that is done and it is in its place make sure to flip it over and screw back all the screws that you took from the board also don't forget to put back all the rubber feet because if you don't put it it will slide all over the place and you don't want that and then we can move on to the wrist rest keep the plastic case of the wrist rest on your hand and take the cushion and put it on top push it from the bottom and it should also click right into place you're gonna hear that satisfying click and you will know it is on there and now flip it over screw it back down put the rubber feeds back and you should be sorted That is how easy it was to custom paint your own Razer Black Widow Chroma or whatever Razer keyboard it is. It's almost the same for every single Razer keyboard. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section or DM me on Twitter because I'm always active there. And if you guys are curious on what keycaps I'm rocking, and these are the keycaps that I use, I'll make sure to put a link on the description so you can buy it for yourself. I also made this wireless charger recently where if you put a phone, on top of my mouse pad it will start charging it is freaking sick if you guys are interested to see how i did that make sure to let me know in the comments but it's pretty simple you can do it by yourself as well i mean who doesn't like cool stuff right that's why you should subscribe and i got all sort of cool stuff planned for the channel this year and i hope you guys will find it interesting and i guess that's gonna be pretty much it for me it's been your boy gassy pro and i'll be seeing you guys on the next video peace out